Hey, it's JC1424 once again with World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. And in this episode of our season as Donnie Shots, we are going to the Las Vegas Dirt Track. One that I should be a little familiar with because it was in NASCAR Heat 3. I didn't really play the, the dirt stuff in NASCAR Heat 4 that much, but you get the point. Last episode, we raced at Kokomo, and I almost won that. But I just couldn't clear Spencer Baston, and he went back to back. And then, uh, yeah, here's the standings right now. We are just four points behind Spencer Baston, so we could get third if I just happen to finish better than him today. Or tonight. Yeah, it's night races. And then you got Carson Makido leading the standings right now by, uh, I think, 14 points over Sheldon Hodenskeld. But uh, we're going to drive the CarQuest alternative paint job today, just for the heck of it, because it's Las Vegas is special. Let's go to the championship options, just to confirm that, like usual. 100 difficulty, full damage, full race length, the relaxed yellows. Uh, here's the, the driving settings, which were adjusted last weekend. Yeah, I made it 20 stability help, because Bristol was insane, and I just stick with that, because I'm more comfortable with that anyways. Um, there's the AI settings, same as usual. And, uh, yeah, I guess you've seen all you need to see. So, let's go to the next event. There's the gorgeous race logo. Hopefully, I can fetch that on Google somewhere and use it in the thumbnail. And then, you got all the track stats. Half mile, 50 lap race. I hate that. Full time is a 12.7. All right. Um, I'm trying to think if this all comes right back to me. I don't know if... This looks very different from what it was in NASCAR Heat 3, which I played that in 2018. Yeah, late 2018. So, oh, maybe it's got different guardrails and places and shit. Okay, I got 13.5 in the first lap, and I'm kind of just running this inside line of sorts. I'm making anything special of this. I am way down below the banking. I might have ruined the lap, might have helped it, I don't know. No, it improved it. 13.22. That is 23rd place. We're going to Heat 3. Oh my god. <laughs> heat 3. Doo -doo -doo. And there are them results. We, we beat Stutz. Stutz. It's Forsyth. Forsyth. I love this. Do, 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 scroll back up, see where the other guys are. Spencer Basin got 7th in qualifying, and I'm usually able to finish better than 7th. So, maybe we can catch him and beat him tonight. Brad Sweet is on the pole. Just a little bit faster than Mackie Doe. It's time for Heat 3. The top two move on to the qualify dash. This game has got a habit of playing the music at any time that is not the race just because I have it turned off during the race. I kind of just want it to be during the menus, but it's like it's everything except specifically the race. I'm having a goddamn stroke trying to get my point across. Dylan Jacobs is in front of me. Hi. How you doing? 10th anniversary Dylan Jacobs with, with his, uh, his YouTube channel. Congratulations on that, by the way. Now, get... get... Your ass behind me. Oh my god, he drives a three car. Three! For Dale! I didn't do that. I, I didn't do shit. Is that a caution, those two cars? It's not. So I'm fourth, and the top four advance to the A main, and I'm all over the goddamn place. Why is the heat 12 laps? What in God's name? What? Man, this game be blue balling me. He ran the outside line everywhere that I just cut out. He just kept running the outside line. Then two laps to go, he starts running the bottom line. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm just like, he couldn't just let it happen. He, mm, this Johnson dude. So we're going to start 18th in the A main. Uh, you know, if that wreck didn't happen, 
I'd probably still be going to the A main because I was faster than that other dude that we're, I was trying to pass. But uh, yeah, Logan Stuchert won Heat 3. Jacob Allen is in here. I've already said it before, but there's a guy that used to watch this channel. His name is Jacob Allen. We're friends on Facebook. Go, go, just, just, just go ahead, JC, edit the video, and show them what the fuck just happened in that restart. I'm fucking pissed! I was running a really good race! I got to sixth on speed! Then a caution happened because these stupid lead lap cars can't keep their goddamn tires to themselves. And I can't keep mine to myself either! I do not like the fact that I am in 18th place whenever I have sixth place speed! How is that? How the fuck is that? It's like a damn snowflake. I'm the snowflake. The race is the snowflake. Not one snowflake is the same. One race, I'm sixth on speed. The next, I'm getting crossed over. Left and fucking right. And I hate starts. I hate restarts. I fucking hate them all. I just want to go back to NASCAR. Fuck. I, I, I don't know how to avoid in a wreck. They go in unpredictable directions. Some go up, some go right, some go left, some just stop and they sit there. If I want to go around them, I gotta yank the car and commit suicide into the wall. <sighs> so now I have a restart. I Craig Kinzer. And I've probably got a lot of damage, but they're not showing it yet because it's not actual aero damage. I don't like it. I don't like this. This is, this is stupid. This is, this is stupid. Fuck you, get off of me. Fine. Fine. Oh, I got all race. Got all race to get up front where I belong. Whenever I survive the traffic, survive the restart, survive the start, survive the rape. Ugh. It's much more fun to watch because the drivers are more respectful in real life. They understand that they can kill someone. But no, these AI, they, they don't understand that. And even if they do, I can't fucking drive the goddamn car. I'm just here to play the video game. Great game. The, the, the lack of awareness from the AI of how dangerous the, the, the coming near each other is. If, if it's not me, it's someone else. Clearly, as we have three cautions within the span of 15 laps. I have it so low, the tire sensitivity. Yet somehow, they can't stop touching each other. They can't stop touching me. I pass someone on raw speed, and they don't have the decency to not try passing me back. Let me drive away if it's possible to happen. This is not going to happen in the first turn after I pass them. I have to get realigned back up to the top of the track, and then start getting to the mode to make my rhythm. But no, they don't let that happen. They just cross me over like we're battling for the lead. Oh. All this freaking traffic, because we just restarted. 
and then they're leaving the bottom open. I lose speed off the corner by not being able to slide up. Now I can do that, but I've got like six cars around me right now to worry about. It's like eight cars. Like they're all running so slow in a pack, just waiting to to wreck. I swear it's gonna happen in the next lap at this point. I mean, they're freaking three wide. Make it four wide. I can't control my car. Oh my god. Just slide up. There we go. Oh boy. Keep in mind, I've done all of this on speed. Sure, there's stack up, but I did it a while ago and I'm doing it again. Sometimes they just do not let it fucking happen. Oh boy. Man, I was I was passing Spencer Baston when that wreck happened last time. And then they went to a caution, and I got screwed so hard at the restart. Yeah, I'm trying to put it further into perspective, because you already saw it, but yeah. As we move into sixth, again, oh, my, it's the same freaking guy, McAdoo, McAdoo. He just did that, he did it again. He wrecked someone in the process. There, there is a lack of decency from the AI at this track. And it, it doesn't work at this track. It, I, Kakamo, it, it worked fine, it don't work here. So, trying to get past Noah Gas. I feel for for Mace Doe. I, I feel for Mace Doe, though. Why? Why are you doing this? You fucking bastard. Please stop. Get, please get off me. I, I, I can't turn my car. It's not letting me. Get off the wall. I just lost two spots because of that. Fucking idiot. Uh, slow people get in front of the fast people because of a traffic jam and then everything is just a mess the fast people can't race the fast people because they're all stacked up and that's what happened to freaking Mace Windu I was going to say that a while ago, but I just gave up on saying it because I had more other shit to focus on. So now i got to race these guys, and it's going to be difficult. But I have a good bit of the race left to do it. God, I can't even read the text on the screen. I can't read the names because everything is just moving around. They're all going to hit each other. They look like they're going to hit each other. I don't freaking know. can't move up the track because there's a guy up the track. Now that guy's going to the outside. Why does it have to be so hard to, to catch these guys and pass them? I already did that. I was already out driving in the first damn place. I mean, I'm here. It's just taking forever. Oh, my God. Okay, he's not running the actual bottom of the track. I am getting the runoff. Okay, curve it down. Him crossing over me is the last damn thing I need. And they love doing that, apparently. Well, we're clear of him. So I can focus on the track. Basin wants to run the top again. I'm definitely faster than down here. I feel like I've heard the announcer say that a good 10 times since I started the series. But obviously, doing a race just takes an hour, two hours. So I've gotten myself back into sixth place. Still have a ton of lap cars that can potentially screw up my entire race. I don't know why. They can't even be programmed to, it's like, okay, not on the lead lap, no longer gets in the way, just runs the outside line. For fuck's sake, do something. Like, I, I wish it would just do something based on what the player is. Like, if they're not on the same lap, then do something about it. So now we have a caution late in the race. I'm going to be in a traffic jam. Ugh. The worst that I can finish is ninth now, because how many people did the leader lapped? I am moving down the track. I am checking up the bottom lane. Kind of wash up the track all on its own. This is our chance to race with these guys again, even though I know I'm faster than none of them. It's all a matter of how the heck it turns out. Oh my god, it's, it's Jacob Allen. The rescue. I mean, rescuing me, that's for sure. I wish the car would stay at the bottom of the track and stop him from passing me. I don't want to lose positions at the restart. I want to 
gain positions, if anything. I just don't think it's actually even possible. I say that as I gain time on hide and shield and gravel because they're stuck in a pack again. At least this is leaders racing leaders, not lap cars or slow people in general. I don't know what the hell David Gravel's doing right now. I don't even know what the caution was. Maybe it was one of these guys and now they have damage. But clearly not enough to change the top five battle that they've been having. Ugh. I'm kind of matching in speed with David Gravel if I run the light. The right line. Oh my fucking want to die. I fucking hate the experience that is racing these AI. They're fucking assholes. I don't have a spotter. I can't put a mirror on because I wouldn't be able to look at it anyway. The race is almost over and I lost two positions at the restart. That's going to be a caution. I'm going to dodge that. I dodged it. I can't even avoid a damn wreck in this game. Because I can't drive my car. I can't turn it in the direction that I want. I wind up doing the complete opposite. Like that whole straightaway is predetermined based off of how the corner went. So, I'm back into sixth. This is a green-white checkered. And I am running the bottom into the corner. I'm going to try to pass Nacido, and instead I'm going to get stuck on the fucking wall. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I over. Just end it. End it. End it. End it. End it. End it. Oh my god. Opportunity. Down the drain. Just finish sick where I ran all goddamn race. Thank you. Fuck you, Las Vegas. What is with this game and the ripoff ACDC? Like, they couldn't even try getting airborne or better yet, actually ACDC? I mean, I don't know. Hopefully this thumbnail represents the video. Well, I feel like every thumbnail is like this, though. Because they all go this way to some extent. Because in this episode, specifically, it was all of the above. Every time someone wanted to pass me, they would just run my ass over out of nowhere. Every time there was a wreck in front of me, I had to get involved in it because I can't fucking drive these cars. And every time I had to lab somebody, I would wash up in the corner diving underneath them. They would just pass me back. I'm not the leader, so they're not getting a lap back. They're just there to piss me off. And all these damn restarts happening over and over and over again because they can't race each other well either. So there's that. I have these cautions, and I can handle the restart. But Brad Sweet won. Was that his second, third win of the season? I don't know. Uh, Sheldon Hodenshield run well. Carson Mace Windu got fourth. So, you know, those guys first and second, they're still doing their thing. But we got past Spencer Baston in the standings. So we are third. And, yeah, here are the standings, speaking of that. We're actually tied for third with Brad Sweet, who just won this race. That was his second win of the season. And the only guy that just has one win is the points leader. There's someone else that won a race that's not even in the picture right now. Huh. Damn. And even if I won at Kokomo, I would still be up in this picture, surprisingly. But uh, I guess we don't have to be too concerned about James McFadden. We're kind of locked in the top five right now as long as I just keep running well. But James McFadden, he does generally run quite well. So he could climb his way back up here. I can't open my Starbucks Frappuccino because my hands are fucking sweaty from playing this game. Next up is Lucas Oil Speedway. I needed to drink a lot of coffee before I played this game. I used to actually be worried about copyrighted music and video games. Then I realized, why don't I just take out the gameplay and leave it from the face cam? It gets all distorted, but you can still tell what it is. So, Lucas Oil Speedway... I don't know what that is. I don't know what it used to be called. It's not in the, the track logo. They, it can't have always been sponsored by Lucas Oil. But I don't know what the track is. It says it's in Missouri. I don't know what dirt track in the older uh, dirt racing games was in Missouri either. But um, the, the, the paint job. Let's put it back to the regular default and advanced auto parts car. And I'll see you guys tomorrow where hopefully I'm less pissed off at... Lucas Oil Speedway. That's that, and episode over.